Okay, hello everyone, something different for me today. I'm going to have um, I'm going to have a flight on the ATAG server. Um, the map is concentrated around the Dover uh, channel area. Thought I'd get airborne in a hurricane and um, I've got about half an hour free. So I thought I'd have a quick fly. See what I can find. See if I can get into some mischief. Um, just for 25 minutes, half an hour or so. And I sort of randomly thought I might record it in case, um, in case it's worth uploading. So let's just get this machine up to temperature. Reasonable population on the server, about 25, maybe 30 players or so. Actually, it could be more than that. Uh, good, good population. So, cloudless day. And are we up to temperature yet? No. Come on. There was actually a Blenheim back there just waiting to get airborne. I'll probably fly down to the sort of Dover Hawkins area and um, see what happens. Come on, warm up. I hope I've got runway left. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right, this is heading basically towards the north, so it appears that the wind is coming from the north. Get ourselves an airborne. And first thing I'll do after closing the canopy is just check the airspace. No flak. Nothing appears to be here, which is good. Okay, I'm going to climb towards. Hawkinge. Let's get a little bit of airspeed. Uh, 180, that's good enough. Now we can start climbing. And just trim out. And up we go. Okay, that's Dover over there. Looks like there's some kind of target over there. I maintain a climb at about 140 miles an hour, which is best climb speed in the hurricane. I did actually have the boost cutout on all that time. Fortunately, I haven't blown my radiator. I used boost cutout for takeoff, I think. Actually, I'm not quite sure, but it's off now anyway. Right, climbing. Okay, so there's E4Ns, or at least E4ND rated on the server. What else have we got? E4Bs, oh jeez. And there's one, two, three, four. There's a few hurricanes on. Good to see. Good to see a few players taking the not best aeroplanes. Of course, there's a fair share of players who are taking the definitely best aeroplanes on both sides. Okay, I've got a moving contacts over Hawkinge. Um, in fact, quite a few contacts over in that direction. One, two, three, four, five or six or so. Keep my eyes open above. K 
cafe is being bombed. Okay, let's roll out. So I'm already above those contacts. I suspect they are getting airborne out of Hawkins though, which would explain why I'm above them. Got to keep climbing, keep climbing. Keep checking my six socks, chucking my socks. Still got one contact pretty much under my nose in the direction of Dover. Now that I've got a little bit of altitude, I can be attacked from both above and below, so I need to stay quite sharp with my lookout. Single contact over there. Another contact over there where my cursor is. So I've got two contacts offshore in the Folkestone area. In fact, Dover area, I should say. I'm now just going to keep myself slightly onshore and I'm going to make a turn to the northeast. How's my height? 10,000 feet. Still fairly low. Single contact right wing tip coming in towards Folkestone. I'm going to have a look. Probably a friendly damaged returning, but and there's no flak, but we'll have a look anyway. Just in case it's a sneaky 109 looking to get some strafing joy. I'm not on TeamSpeak at the moment either, so I don't know where friendlies might be. I think that's a friendly returning home. I'd be seeing flak by now if it was hostile. Oh, flak burst. Okay, it's hostile. It's a bomber. Or it's a 110 fighter. Twin engine. I'm going to dive in. Right on the nose there. Looks like he's got um, a turning attitude on. Just going to throttle back. Loads of rudder in to get stable. Okay, looks like he's going after Hawkins. Oh, we're getting too fast. Zero throttle and I'm getting too fast. Okay, I'm going to go unstable. Yeah, he's strafing Hawkins. Okay, well, I'll drop in. I think he's going to crash himself. Okay, I should be able to get some hits on him here. Did some damage. He's now breaking back over to the field. Should be able to make a second pass. Okay, there's another contact offshore. I'll make a drop on this guy again. Yeah, there's another contact coming in from offshore. Right, I'm just going to use the just go negative G for a second. He may man that gun and start shooting at me, so I need to be careful. breaking off. He's pretty much had it. Just gonna break off and climb away. He's trying to circle back around on me. Now where was that other contact? There he is there. It's a 109. Okay, so I've got two enemies here with me now. 109 is... Okay, the 110's gone in. 109 is climbing high on my left wing. Better boost cut out, I think. Okay. Seems like I'm clear behind. Where's he gone? Okay, he's over there. I'm going to stay underneath him. Trim out. Boost cut out off. Okay, he's taking flak. 
and he is there he's turning to the left I'm gonna try and stay under his blind spot if I can and I'm gonna try and keep some airspeed to 20 okay what's he doing okay he's got left wing down I'm gonna cut the corner okay there's a third contact now approaching from offshore I'm clear behind see if I can just close in on this guy I cut the corner there so I should be able to close he's also trying to make a strafing run on the Hawkins what is it with these guys okay boost cut it on okay now he's just running nope he is trying to line up for a shot the other contacts now approaching from offshore oh shit okay see if I can now get guns on this guy from long range some hits more hits got him venting just check my six yeah six is okay okay he's running his cutouts off there's another friendly here looks like a spitfire just dived in no surprises there and he's now attacking He's got him venting. What is that behind me? Another friendly. Oh, okay, that one's gone in. So, 1 and 9 down, a 110 down. Let's just clear 6. Still a bit of flak here. Okay, I'm just going to get the wings level. Maintaining my airspeed. Yep, someone's shooting at me. It's another 109. Okay, he's stalled out. And it looks like he's already venting. I'm just going to use my boost cutout for a second there. Oh, he's bailed. Well, that wasn't difficult. Didn't even have to shoot at him. He just killed himself. Okay, so that's three down. Two shot down, one scared down. I'm claiming that one. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, there's a contact. Spitfire. It's got elliptical wings. Okie dokie. Do I need to do anything more here? Don't know how much time that took. I suppose that was about 15 minutes or so. Let's check my six. Seems clear. Okay, climbing back up towards um, Deal. I may make one more pass in this direction or I might just call it quits there. Okay, I've got loads of contacts at my two o'clock. They're quite low, say four or five thousand feet. So I'm going to full throttle. I'll go into a steep climb. Just clearing my six. Yep, looks good. Well, I need to trim out. Okay, and I'll head over there to where those contacts are just off between Dover and Deal. Okay. Yeah, they look like they're between five and seven thousand feet. So I'm still in relatively good shape here. I need to start gaining airspeed soon. What am I doing? 180, 160. I can climb a little bit harder. Okay, I need to stop climbing really if I can now. I'll not climb so steep. Oh, my tracker are just locking up for a second. Okay, so I've got three contacts on my one o'clock. The high one, if anything, if any if any of those three are hostile, that high one will be the one in nine. But it's possible they're all friendlies. Clear left. Clear behind. Oh, yep, looks like they're dogfighting.
Okay, I'm going to level off. Clear left. I think one of them is running back, uh, running towards France. Okay, they're turning again now. I'm hoping that that turning means that I'll be able to close the gap. Should just check six again. Clear. Okay, slightly north of Dover. Those three contacts are dropping down quite considerably in altitude. Oh, Manston's just been bombed off to my left. But one of it's worth intercepting. I think I'm more interested in, in fighting fighters though. Attacking bombers is uh, a little bit too easy, I think. Okay, that fight's moving away. So I'm not going to bother with that fight. I am going to turn left. Go for the easy option of investigating whatever it was which just dropped. Yep, there's something still at Manston dropping bombs. That fight is definitely heading back towards France. Contact, 2 o'clock high. Coming in very quickly. I may just have to start descending here. Two of them. Oh, it looks like in a scrap. Two one oh nines. That's bad for me. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Two one oh nines. Ah, one of them just descended rapidly. Oh, he's going in. I think. I have no idea what just happened. One of them just went straight into the water. Okay, so there's one 109 now over there, I think. Oh, God, that was really peculiar behavior. He's also heading back to France, okay? Right. So, strange. The wonderful world of Claude. I have no idea what just happened over there. There were two 109s bearing down on me quite fast. One of them just went inverted and went straight into the water. And the other one's buggered off back to France. Okay, let's see if I can pick up whatever it was that was attacking Manston before. If I can't find it, I'll just land. Clear behind. Still clear behind. Clear above and to the right. I'm positioning myself well to the east of well to the east of Manston. Um, on the assumption that if anything survived, if whatever it was that was attacking Manston survived, it's probably departing back towards France in this sort of area. like I'm clear so I'll try and intercept that on its way home unless of course it was up at um, altitude which I better just check nope okay good speed Okay, I don't actually see anything over here now. Okay. Well, I think that whatever it was that was attacking Manston 
um, probably did not fly home because I think I would have seen it flying across or it's up at altitude in which case I won't have the power to climb up so I'm gonna actually head into Manston now and if there's nothing there I'm just gonna land and call it a day Bravo Alpha 20 Bravo Alpha 20 yeah, that's over in France it's a very familiar looking grid pattern that looks like that looks like the storm of war um, map grid. Okay, just heading in. Oh, I don't see anything here. Walking she looks clear at the moment. Ah, not Hawkins, Manston. Ah, contact. Could be a static object just above Ram's gate. I think it's a static object. I'm just going to clear my six again. Seems good. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nice and quiet. Okay, okay, I think I'm going to land at Manston. Seems quiet here at the moment. No flak. No contacts. I should throttle back. It's like a bunch of uh, flak guns here in the fields, yeah. Standalone 3.7 inch guns, I think. Okay, let's slow this aeroplane down. Pull a nice tight turn, that'll bleed off some speed. Lots of rudder. Drop the gear. Lower the flaps. It's fast still, I'm just going to bleed off some energy. There we go. Am I landing in the right direction? Hard to tell. There's no marker boards. I think I should be landing towards the east and the north, not from it, but... Oh, getting a bit slushy here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Recover, recover, recover. I'm not going to recover. Oh dear. Okay, that was a terrible landing to an otherwise reasonable sortie. I got way too slow then. Too busy, um... Too busy talking about the airfield layout and uh, not flying the airplane. Anyway, I'll call that. Oh, <laughs> my pilot's injured too. How about that? Happy days. We'll see if I can open the canopy. Oh, the canopy opens. That's a good start.